Hi everyone, in this video I will show you how to factory reset TP-Link Archer C80 and god no, I will not show you how to press the button using a paper clip. Hard reset is a bit more complicated tool and I will show you how to utilize it as an advanced user. So let's get into it. Actually, the paperclip reset is a pretty good tool, but only in two cases. The first one, if you've forgotten your admin password and can't manage your router anymore. And the second one, if for some reason you need a fresh start. In this case, just find the reset button, press and hold, release and start from scratch. But if you want to do a hard reset just to fix some connection issues or other problems with your rotor, you should know two things. First of all, try a reboot first. Do not rush to do hard reset. And uh, the second thing is you need to know how to create backups. Let's say your friend, a system administrator, came over and set up a bunch of custom settings in your router. And after hard reset, you will have to set up everything from scratch. And what if you don't know how to do this and your friend is not available right now? To avoid this awkward situation, you need to just create a backup before hard reset. Uh, let me show you how to get here. Uh, so what you need is, let me log out first. What you need is open a new tab in your web browser and make sure your computer is connected to your Wi-Fi router. Uh, then in the search bar type in the router's IP address. By default it looks like this, if you haven't changed it of course. Then hit enter on your keyboard, it takes you to the login page, enter your administrator's password. Uh, once again, if you've forgotten this password, you have to reset the router with a button and you have no options to create a backup. Log in, then switch to advanced and now let's create a backup. Find system in the left pane, click here, then click backup and restore and create a backup file. It saves a backup file in your downloads folder, relocate it to a safe place and then you can reset your rotor right from here and from web interface you even have two options. You can restore all configuration settings except your login and cloud account information. So it just saves your administrator uh, password or a complete factory reset. It's equal to pressing the physical reset button on the uh, rotor's case. So you can make a factory reset, uh, then set up your router from scratch. Uh, I also recommend you to uh, set the same Wi-Fi network and password on new setup to make your devices to connect uh, to the network automatically. Then go back to the advanced menu to system, backup and restore and browse for your configuration file. Find it somewhere in downloads or somewhere else. Uh, and Click on restore and you will have all your previous settings back again. And I recommend you to create backup file right after you have a successful configuration. Uh, do not wait until you have some problems and you need to do a hard reset. And also uh, backup your system uh, after any major changes to your settings. And also there is no option to create backup file from TP-Link Tether application in your smartphone, but you still can do factory default restore and reboot your device from this application. Uh, that's pretty it guys. I hope this was helpful. If yes, consider to subscribe to our channel, hit the like button to support us. Any questions, comment below and see you in the next videos. Be awesome. Bye guys.